In this video, I want to show you how we can come up with the exact values, so sine, cosine, and tangent of both 30 and 60 degrees. So we're going to do this geometrically, and I'm going to go ahead and start with an equilateral triangle. So all three sides are the same, which means that all of these angles uh, are also the same, and they're all going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so I'll go ahead and label those bottom two. So what I'm going to do is draw this angle bisector straight down from the top, and it's going to hit at this bottom, and it's going to be a right angle, and what it's going to do is divide this into two equal pieces. It's not only just an angle bisector, it's also going to bisect this bottom side. Okay, so if we give this a 1 down there and a 1 here, uh, that means the entire side is two units, which means the other sides are also two units. So let's go ahead and do that. And finally, since this is a right triangle, I can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height of this. So the height will be, so we're going to say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we'll say 1 is our a down there. We'll say b squared. We'll say b is the height. And then c is this hypotenuse, so we'll say 2 squared. So it looks like 1 plus b squared equals 4, which means b squared equals 3 when I subtract 1 from both sides. And then the b value, or the height, will be the square root of 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there as well, square root of 3. Okay, well we kind of have everything we need. Let's go ahead also and say these two angles here are the same, and these are actually 30 degree angles, because we know there are 180 degrees in a triangle. Given this right angle, that's 90, and then this is 60, so we have 30 left over. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the sine of 30 the cosine of 30, and the tangent of 30 degrees. Okay, so we know the sine ratio is going to be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So if we're coming from the 30 degree angle, which is right here, sine will be opposite, which is going to be 1, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So we're going to say the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Similarly, let's go and do the cosine from 30 degrees. And the ratio for cosine is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So from 30 degrees, the adjacent side will be this height here, which was the square root of 3, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. So we have the square root of 3 over 2. And finally, the tangent of 30 degrees. Well, tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent for its ratio. So the opposite is 1. The adjacent is the square root of 3. So we have 1 over the square root of 3. But we don't really like to leave this irrational uh, number in the denominator. So I'm going to go through the process of rationalizing. And what we get ultimately is the square root of 3 over 3 for the tangent of 30. Okay, so there are our 30 degree angles, the exact values for sine, cosine, and tangent. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and do the sine of 60, the cosine of 60, and the tangent of 60 degrees. Alrighty, so the 60 degree, we'll use this bottom angle here, and sine, once again, the ratio is opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite side from 60 degrees is the square root of 3, and the hypotenuse is 2, so we'll say radical 3 over 2. Okay, and the cosine of 60 degrees is going to be uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. And then tangent, again, is opposite over adjacent. So from 60 degrees, the opposite is the square root of 3. The adjacent is 1. So the square root of 3 over 1, we can just write as the square root of 3. And so I want to show you a couple patterns here, some, some nice things that occur. 30 degrees and 60 degrees are complementary angles, which means they add up to 90. So 30 plus 60 is 90, which is a right angle. Okay, so you'll see that the sine of 30, which was 1 half, is the cosine of 60. 
Okay, so complementary angles work that way. And the cosine of 30, which was the square root of 3 over 2, is the sine of 60, square root of 3 over 2. And finally, the tangent values here, notice the relationship, they're actually reciprocals. So for angles that are uh, complementary, you'll notice the tangent values are reciprocals. Anyway, though, so here's how we can use a geometry and trigonometry kind of together, starting with our equilateral triangle, so we can get the exact values for sine, cosine, and tangent of both 30 degrees and 60 degrees.